Watch this. <laughs> oh my Ooh. god. Mmm. Get closer. Don't mm. really going on. Mm. What we like to say in Jamaica, the thing shot. What's going on YouTube? It's Scott Brown here back with another video. See, we're in the beautiful island of Jamaica. And we got a special guest, my brother, the man himself, the CEO. Going on the world, Toto. it's Vital Michael. You know, we with Vital Vegan Inc. And right now we're at the Vital Frequency Retreat. And we got some white beach mushrooms, right? These are white beach mushrooms. So we decided to fry them up on the beach of Jamaica and make a nice barbecue fried sandwich out of plantains all right what we can do is that we have to wash these off and because we're by the ocean right now i figure we're just gonna go by the ocean right there and just wash them off real quick all right let's we're do gonna, that you know we're gonna take these right over because these gotta go in the air so we're by the ocean side already just in the ocean water gives you a nice salty taste when you fry them you know yeah you know Fry them up now, make our little patties with them. We got our plantains washed up now. We're gonna prepare them for our sandwich. These are fryer right away. Yeah, they gotta go two times. If you know about frying plantains, you gotta fry it first and then take it out, smash it after a few minutes. And once you do that, fry it the last time. Question for you Are you vegan? Absolutely. It's been August made five years. Wow. Right? August made five years. Okay. And that was uh, a few months ago. How I learned to do all this because you gotta fend for yourself, you gotta cook your own food. You know, there's a lot of new vegan places, but if you want some nice, alkaline, delicious vegan food, you gotta make it yourself. Some of these ingredients may not be alkaline, but all of it is organic, naturally grown out here in the mountains. You know, these, these plantains are grown by natural farmers out here that just have a few planting trees up there so you know help as well these in the fryer right now to get them started oh. we're gonna let them stay for about it feels like three minutes three minutes okay so yeah. three minutes in the fryer yep and now we're gonna make our batter mixed up look hey i ain't mixed it all up yet but we got smoked paprika we got thyme we got scallion we got a natural organic alkaline jerk seasoning right there from salt to pepper right there shout out to them and then, you know we got some vegan ingredients in there too some vegan seasoning so now we got this with our spelt flour we're gonna mix this up all right yes sir and what do you plan to do with those mushrooms my man we can fry them up this is gonna be barbecue fried Ooh. beach wow. mushrooms on the beach in jamaica Ooh. <laughs> okay i like that i like that Yes, people, we are in the island of Jamaica. As you can see, little wildcat, the sea moss right there. Yeah, we're actually going to use some sea moss in this to make our wet batter, actually, right now. So, look, we're going to take this our sea moss gel that we just made from that sea moss right there that we actually just harvested from the ocean. That's why it's out here drying out. Yes. You know? So, we're going to put sea moss gel in here. Right? And then we have our um, seasoned flour now. So now we're going to use some of this, put it in there, right, this for a wet batter, bang. Now that we got that, we're going to add a little water. Nice. Alkaline water, I don't need to shout out these people, but if you look at the top, naturally alkaline pH 8. I don't really follow that, I just follow spring water, natural spring water. Right. That's the easiest way to, to go with it, just try to get some natural spring water. If it says alkaline on it, if it says this, that's, that's cool, but... Make sure it's spring, make sure it's not a filtered water you use. Who baited you to start your vegan journey, boss man? Alright, so I found out before my daughter was about to be born, I was looking at my weight and I was 236 pounds. Oh wow. Yeah. And my daughter it was it was in August and the scale and my daughter was gonna be born in January. So I only had a few months to get in shape and to really focus on how I was gonna be able to run around with my daughter, mm. you know, spend time with her and do the things I wanted because I saw the difference in my health, you know, from when I was in high school to after I gained all that weight. So that really pushed me, my daughter being born and me being at the heaviest 
place in my life. Wow. And you know, diabetes, high blood pressure, wow. hypertension. Wow. So all these things that's common among so many people now. I was going through. So I wanted to change that and reverse the way I was living. Flipped up now. All right, we could take our plantains out. All right. So these are gonna be for our sandwiches, but I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. First, we gotta flatten these out. Wild mushroom mix to flatten it right now. Oh wow, okay, I've never seen that before. Right, there's a patty. There you go. <laughs> All right. well, I'm just using what we got. I forgot to bring, you know, a normal smasher down here. We're gonna be our patties. We're gonna fry those same time as the mushrooms, so we're gonna have a hot sandwich. Mm. When it comes to cooking vegan, doesn't have to be boring. It's Definitely all about not. learning. Absolutely, it's all about learning it and experimenting and just trying to make it fun, man, and make it tasty as well, too. Yes, it's just gonna be delicious. Oh, yes, it looks. It's already it smelling looks, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> We're using natural coconut oil on there. All right, so now we got our patties set. The batter, patties. Yes, now we're gonna drop this flour right now All right first actually I'm sorry I'm gonna put it in the wet batter look at this oh yeah there you go all right make sure that look at that look at that all right we want that to get up in there just like that one going is this gonna be a nice sandwich we're gonna let you try it first Scott yes oh thank you I appreciate it <laughs> right, we're gonna let you try it oh try man first. On camera, we're gonna have to turn the camera around with the people see. It's a passion for you to start your business of Vital Vegan Inc. Cause you know, okay. thank you so much for making me a brand ambassador. <laughs> I appreciate you. Well, I always, you know, I always wanted to ask you that question. Like, what was the, the passion behind that? The passion behind that was just being in the dark so long about health and not really knowing all the information. And then once I was researching Dr. Sebi and saw that I could actually change my health by changing my diet and actually understanding what causes disease, mm. right? So once I learned what caused the disease and learned that I got healthier, the people around me got healthier, and it's not just about the diet, it was also the herbs, mm. the herbs. Talk about it. So I wanted to get as natural herbs as I could, and I was looking for sarsaparilla, I was looking for blue vervain, I'm looking for sea moss, I'm looking for all these wildcrafted herbs that I can't get and can't trust where I'm getting it from. But then I started thinking, I grew up in Jamaica. Sarsaparilla grows well in Jamaica. Blue Bourbon grows well in Jamaica. Guinean weed grows well in Jamaica. All these wild herbs are everywhere. So now I was like, wait, I can bring the people a good product, a yes. natural product, yes. wild harvested, you know, high mineral content. It's not farmed, it's not grown in any kind of farm places. We literally go to the mountains behind us. Behind there right now, I know there's dog blood. A lot of dog blood over here. Yes. You know, and that's a herb that's high in zinc. High frequency has that on their website. Yes. And um, blue ravine is filled up over here. A lot of strong back. That's good for the men's back, and it's actually a natural aphrodisiac. I, I, so, I use it myself. <laughs> so she, that, she hasn't stopped calling me. That's <laughs> <laughs> what um, gave me the passion behind it. You know, because I wanted people to really have that. And I was able to follow my passion in life now by helping people and making a profit off it at the same time. Yes. So how could I not go with that, you know? And now, after years of having that company, we're like, wait, we want the people to experience this paradise too. We want them to harvest their own sea moss. We want them to see the herbs naturally growing. We want them to pick all the fruits from the trees and get all the solar energy while we're helping them heal and showing them how to cook in this natural environment. You know, we have over 53 fruit trees right now, all different types of fruits that we're growing. So the passion just keeps going. We're about to drop these in right now. Yes, sir. We're about to drop these in. People with their yard right there, no, with their yard. In the wind. In the wind, in the wilderness. Yep. All right, ready? This is the money shot. This is the money shot. Here we go. Woo! Woo! Oh wow, did you hear that? Woo! Stop. There you go. Because I'm actually going to wash my hands in the ocean. All right. <laughs> Washing off. Flour. It's all natural. And guess what? The fish are going to eat it. They like it. They like it. You know? You can put your quinoa in here. You'll see a whole bunch of fish come out. We have octopus. 
Josh out here. Oh man. So look. All right, family. So the audio messed up while I was recording, but as you can see, Mike got the mushrooms out of the fryer, and they're looking amazing, looking like some chicken. That's crazy. And now he has the custom barbecue sauce. You can use your own barbecue sauce, but we have our own custom barbecue sauce. And then from there, he's just shaking up the mushrooms and the barbecue sauce, as you see right here. Now he's just cutting up the tomatoes and the onions. All right, so that's what he's doing right now. Just cutting it up. So now we get in the plantains, which is the bun for the sandwich itself. Uh. Wow, look at that, y'all. Bacon sweet potato, you see the color? It's not that orange. Look, this is how the big bacon sweet potato look. Mm. All right, way different. Way, way different. Wow. We're gonna put that right there. Y'all see that? Y'all see that right there? Yeah. All right. Then we gonna I do. <laughs> pour a little bit more barbecue sauce on there. Make sure you got that, all right? Bang. Our purple onions up on there. You know what I'm saying? Get our purple onions in there. Greens, all right? Jamaican mustard greens grown here. It's gonna be on the top layer, right? Base has uh, coconut meal. Top has coconut meal. down below if you love what this man is making right now because man whew, can't believe it's vegan mm -hmm. right on top of the mustard beans right there all right and if that ain't it we got the homemade hemp sauce right with sea moss in there the same sea moss y'all there you go ready for this 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 is money right here Turn the camera around so you can try. So Scott is about to try the sandwich, but hold on, let me take the fries out. Show oh, you what. Man, look. So we got the fries right here, right? Let me show y'all what this looking like right now. Look at these fries. Then we gonna drizzle the hemp sauce on there. Ooh, look at that. You see what's going on here? <laughs> my brother, look at. Talk about presentation. Right oh there. my. Ladies and gentlemen, you see what's going on here. I have to try. What's the name of this dish, brother? The barbecue fried beach mushrooms on the beach of Jamaica with the potato Jamaica fries and the hemp sauce on top. You know, we got the mustard beans in there, the purple onion, the tomato, and the garnish. Can't believe it's vegan. <laughs> I've been vegan for what, six years, and I can't believe it. All right, watch this. Y'all see health as well. 
That's why you gotta focus on your health, you know, because everything else will come after. If you make sure you wake up in the morning, you make sure you exercise, make sure you eat right, make sure you get your juices in, your vegetables in, everything else is gonna change for you. Mental clarity is gonna come, you know what I'm saying? So if you're working on business, now you can get more business done faster. If you're in a job, you can get done faster. Health is well, because we got, we don't gotta worry about after this. We know we're putting the minerals in our body. There you go. You know what I mean? Listen, family, when I tell you that this sandwich will change your life, I'm telling you from right now, it will change your life. And don't be afraid to try the recipe, all right? I'll have everything in the description below. I want to say a big thank you to my brother, my man. Listen, y'all understand, man. 2019, man, ever since that, we've been brothers ever since, man. Like, I appreciate you, man. Yeah. Scott Bernard, <laughs> Vital Vegan, yes. Vital Frequency Retreat, yeah. High Frequency, yeah. all of it. All of it. Yeah. What we say? Collaboration over what? Competition. There you go. <laughs> it's your boy Scott Bernhard. Rate, comment, like, and subscribe. Shout out to my boy Mike for putting down an amazing, amazing recipe. All right? This is something that you want to try. This is something that you want to, you know, experiment with. And trust me, it's going to be the bomb.com. Yeah. All let right? Us, let us know what you want us to make next. Let us know what you want to, please. On the beach. Please. And don't forget, check out Vital Vegan and YouTube. I have some cooking stuff on there for y'all too. Those tabs down below. Follow us along. Collaboration over competition. You already know about my brother. <laughs> and use my code Brown 20 anytime you order on Vital Vegan. <laughs> All right. We out. Big play, Scott. The loaded one, James Bond, Golden Gun. Can't touch this MC who go more hammer than Odin's son. You know this, but then again, they ain't recognize Oprah once. But your man going out like Clips Couch when the sofa sunk. Is this quantity or quality? Queens Dilla on a holler street. Going tell me about a doper run. I'm Chinatown Opio. You don't want the smoke.